I have a share. Now that's the Norwegian way of saying what's happening. Or I guess you could translate it also with what's up. But the direct translation would be what's happening. Um, and you could say just vashera, or you could say shera, or you could say hi vashera. And um, yeah, it's um, something the kids like to say nowadays to be cool, I guess. Um, and uh, but it's fun to say, so you could say it to most people under the age of 40 or 50. They'd probably get it, or usually they'd get it. And another thing is that I've been thinking since I came here, uh, since I'm studying marine biology here, we have to uh, do a bit of chemistry. And the periodic elements, well, this is a bit boring, but in case you want to study Norway, whatever, uh, you might want to know this that there are a few, not many, but a couple of elements who that are like all the abbreviations are the same in Norwegian as well as in English but uh, some of them are pronounced differently or said in a different way. Well some are easier like for example sodium would have the abbreviation NA and in Norwegian it would be natrium which makes more sense right? Um, and let's see what else we've got for example, yeah, potassium would would have the abbreviation K, and in Norway it would be kalium. And what else? Yeah, that's about it. Okay, so I can't really come up with sort of like a theme this time, but um, so I just thought I'd teach you how to say like some of the things that are in this room in front of me here um, at my desk and stuff. Uh, some common things that you might want to know what is, uh, like phone for example. A phone would be telephone, so it's telephone, except pronounced differently, written a bit differently. Telephone, that's how we pronounce it. Um, and additionally, uh, computers would call data machine, which is what you'd think it is, it's data machine. Um, but we could also say PC for PC, or we'd say Mac for Macs. So we can just use those, I guess. Or laptop. We do say we use laptop, the actual word laptop for laptops as well. And we say iPads and iPhones, like most other people. So uh, that's not too difficult. Um, books would be Böcker. Böcker. Books. Böcker. Uh, one book would be en bok. So the word for one is en, the word for a book is bok. But the plural is böcker. Books. Böcker. And what else? Um, I guess I'll, I could go through the first ten numbers, um, how they're pronounced in Norwegian. So, here we go. Um, en, to, tre, fire, fem, sex, sju, åtte, ni, ti. Don't laugh when I said sex. I know it's the same as sex. And we do say, for sex, we do say sex in Norwegian as well. So we can make lots of fun jokes and puns about that um, with the number six. Yeah, I look forward to... When you get fluent in Norwegian, you can do lots of fun puns with the number six. Like, for example, when you are put in a group and you're in group six, you'd be in uh, group six. Group six. Okay, I guess that's enough for today. I really need to do some work, so um, thanks for watching again, and I'll see you tomorrow.